you, uh, you've been busy. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen, I went out and bought the baby some gifts. I suppose you and Maggie bought all of New York City out, if I know you guys. So what happened? You look like you're half dead. Roger? Roger? Hey, talk to me. This morning you were flying. What's going on? What happened? Hell has happened. <laughs> Roger, come on. Nothing could be that bad. You're going to be a daddy. Roger, what, what's going on? Nothing. Nothing now. Roger, what are you talking about? The baby. What do you mean, Maggie wasn't really pregnant? She was, but she isn't now. She had a miscarriage? She had an abortion. Sure? I, uh, I found her at the clinic, but it was too late. She was on her way out. Uh, why? It's a question I've been asking myself. She wouldn't stick around to tell me, and, uh, I've just been walking the streets for the last couple of hours in shock, but, uh, I'm a lot better now, everybody. I'm, I'm really a lot better. No, you're not. Raj, come on. I love you. You can talk to me. Well, it's just there to say. I mean, Maggie's a child. She's, uh, she's been a child since the beginning. And this was uh, an irrational, selfish act, just like the rest of the problems in our marriage. The necklace business, the lying, the paranoia. And this was a logical extension of all that. Roger, she wanted this baby as much as you did. Guess she changed her mind. No. No, I don't buy that. Something, something is wrong with her, or something went wrong with the pregnancy, but... The party line will be that she had the abortion because I slept with Delia. She left me, Jill, and I was alone, and I was weak, and I turned to Dee. But does that justify what she did? No. No, of course not. I just... I don't know. She must be in so much pain that she's not even thinking clearly. Jill, please, please, honey, don't defend her. Uh, Roger, I'm not defending her. I'm just trying to understand what's going on here. She's vindictive and destructive, far more destructive than I ever thought possible, and she brought all this on herself. I'm going to go talk to her. Talk is cheap, Jill. You know people by what they do. Yeah, well, sometimes people do things that they don't mean because they're hurting so much inside. But, Jillian, we all are responsible for our own actions. Just tell me why she did it. to my counselors to talk about how good I felt about myself. That I'd finally told Roger about the baby and that he had promised to change and that we were going to get back together and cement our relationship in a lasting way. What a joke. I couldn't even get to the office without seeing him back with her. They were having a very intense conversation at her shop. Well, maybe he was just trying to set her straight. Yeah, well, that's what I hoped. 
See, I even gave them the benefit of the doubt. So I was very, very polite. And that's when I saw it. What? One of Roger's cufflinks. Where was it? On the floor of Delia's shop, under her little couch. But you see, Roger isn't wearing cufflinks today. I checked. Well, how did it get there? He dropped it there, obviously, Mama. When? When he was there last night, making love to her. Oh, but he couldn't he have. He admitted it to me. After swearing that he was going to stay away, he went back to that creature again. Maggie, I know his timing couldn't have been worse, but you did let him think that you had left. I mean, didn't you? Now, Mama, the point is that this man who insists on truth between us, who has been preaching to me that he can't love me unless I am honest with him, this man knowingly lied a horrible lie. The worst he could tell. I can never trust him again. Oh, madam, this is, this is absolutely terrible. I was certain that you would reach a reconciliation. No. You see, Mr. Dowd, to Roger, a reconciliation means domination. He plays by one set of rules and expects me to play by the other. But I finally see his hypocrisy for what it is. He has been trying to place the blame for all our problems on me, and I have let him. I have let him degrade me and humiliate me whenever he's felt like it. But it's all over now. I've made sure of that. What do you mean? Hi. Maggie, Roger just told me. What did he tell you? He said that you had an abortion. Is that true? Well, if Roger says I did, then it must be true. Roger never lies, does he? Oh, baby. So you're, you're saying that you terminated this pregnancy? Why not? Under the circumstances. He made quite a big scene there, too. Did he tell you that? Maggie, well, listen to me. Why didn't you just come to us? We're your family. We would have helped you. Well, I don't need any help. I knew what had to be done. Well, there must have been an alternative to this. Tell me something, Jill. How did Roger seem to you? He was upset. He was trying to cover it, but I've never seen him like this before. Over the loss of his child. Over the loss of the child and you. No, that's where you're wrong. Roger's only interest in me was as the mother of his child. Maggie, you know that's not true. He it, loves you. He could have been the perfect daddy without ever getting me involved. He would have done it. I just wish he had. Oh. 